Well, you've always got your stock, which is kind of your base ingredients that are your substance, your flavouring to start with. Um, then you pick the ingredients on top, which give it kind of... That would be the unique aspect. Yeah, the unique selling point. Nice selling point. So you've got kind of your base concept or research or whatever is your founding flavours that give everything else substance. And then you'd have your unique selling point or... Then you'd have your seasoning to make it... Good. Yeah, the spice on top, a little bit extra. Mm. Um, so it's not bland. Yeah. That's how I make soup anyway. Ours would be more research based because our last pieces have been very much us approaching with opposing skills and trying to combine that and respond with each other because I'm a performer and Emily's painter. So this time we're going to look more at how we respond with each other's flesh. Um, so we've got kind of several videos that we need to explore first and depending on... It's going to sound really depressing, but depending on how my neuroses and my, my personal trauma is affected or responds to having to relay that on her flesh or kind of... Vice versa. Really. Yeah, vice versa and that the collaboration kind of... It's kind of a level other. of experimenting with how to provoke each other's reactions. Yeah, and then form um, intuitive responses like that that hopefully will give us an entire vocabulary at the end. The kind of basis of this is Ardenham's anti-psychiatry movement, which is the expression um, in space physically, moving or writing or responding with others to manifest um, mental health into a space that you can relieve it. There's definitely um, an understanding of what we need to express in space isn't there? and provoking each other to do that which sometimes is very uncomfortable mm -hmm. but in the end forms a clearer understanding of why we feel like that and why our associations are like that and it definitely makes us better. It's like an understanding of the self but how the other affects the self. Yeah, which is a lot of the art and based self and other and myself with yourself in space and how you translate that and how you feel um, connected to the other or not connected and all these kind of things. My, my lecturers were horrible to me uh, but the best advice they gave me was nobody else gives a shit about what you're doing or what's wrong with you. Um, so you have to find a way around it. That's probably the best advice I've been given because I was very sick during my last year of uni and I was very weak and she basically just said no one gives a shit, no one's going to give a shit when you're out there. So you have to find a way of doing that. We were talking about it in the car, we were saying how um, people how people are, um, are more aware of themselves, so if you go and leave the house and you're self-conscious, no one's noticing because everyone's being self-conscious about themselves, which yeah. I think informs this particular project. Yeah, it would be well. weird, because, because I'm going to be constantly thinking about what you're thinking about me when you're putting stuff on yeah, me, whilst trying really to think about me. Because, yeah. Yeah. So I think that is good yeah, in light of this project. Yeah. People forget that there's such a lack of expression um, in most of the sectors or the way that things are structured to function, even down to you know, office space. Uh, whereas kind of human development and understanding of the self and the other, like the ego, is all from having to acknowledge the self and try and understand it and that's that's all expression. That's that's kind of the subconscious being brought to the forefront and being looked at with the third eye to attempt to piece this together so that you can progress and do better. And um, I think it social removes, media. Yeah, it removes the mundanity of life when you've got social media which ultimately deals with displaying the events or the happenings that you've been a part of and now it's 
so prominent because everyone wants to display what the unique things they've been a part of mm -hmm. nowadays. But it's yeah, it's trying to establish, establish this sense of self, aren't they? Yeah, because it's it's not readily available in most of the structures that are already given to us. Um, it's a video of we were exploring um, colour and space and the body in space, and it was to do with because um, I I have synesthesia, so the links between language and colour and different senses and then and it was a, a body in the space and it was um, we basically painted the entire space and your body and in the yeah. second part of it Hannah was a mood that's filmed. Yeah, it was attempting to provoke you as severely as possible and you did. The actual residency um, rather than only being a separate entity that can respond to me moving will be moving together and kind of working on each other's bodies, which is where the difference comes. So it's a different distribution.